while you're waiting for your bees to arrive, it's a really good moment to start familiarizing yourself with the different tools you'll be using throughout the season. Actually, few tools are really essential in beekeeping, but here are a few ones that I think will help you work in closer harmony with the colony. First, the hive tool. That's the most versatile tool. Um, you'll be using it in every inspection throughout the season. It almost becomes sort of the extension of the hand of the beekeeper. You use it to open up the hives, separate frames, actually pry them out of the bee boxes, and also scrape off any wax that was built up on top of the frames. The frame holder is also super useful during inspections because you put it like this on top of your bee box and you can sit two frames, your two first frames, on top of the frame holder. That way you have plenty of room to work in the bee box without disrupting the bees too much. Of course, the smoker, probably one of the most emblematic tool in beekeeping. To communicate, bees produce pheromones, including when they sense a threat. So the smoke helps to temporarily mask these smells and that makes our job so much easier. To light it up, it's really easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, you wanna open up the smoker like this. And then you take a little piece of burlap and your matches. And you sort of wanna bundle up the burlap like that and keep this end to light up. And you light up your match like the burlap and wait until the fire crawls a little bit on it and then you can put it delicately in the smoker and then feed it a couple puffs of smoke and then close it up just like that. I mentioned burlap but really it could be any sort of um, natural um, combustible you would have at hand like branches, dead leaves or even straw. Finally when you reach a really nice, dense, white smoke, like this. You want to test it on your hand first. Because if it's too hot for you, it's definitely too hot for the bees. You don't want to agitate them or, uh, worse, hurt them. Clothing-wise, well, we recommend that you wear a long sleeve shirt and some pants. It's also a really good idea to tuck in your pants in your socks. Because bees have a tendency to crawl up on the feet and then up the legs and that's a surprise you kind of don't really want during an inspection, right? Um, some people also prefer to wear protective clothing during inspections, such as uh, gloves, veils, or even like full body suits. You've probably seen that before. Personally, I prefer to wear a veil because um, during inspections, I don't really like when the bees fly around my face or get stuck in my hair. Uh, it makes me lose concentration. And here's a veil, a hat, and the veil that goes on top. Um, but I try not to wear any gloves. I also notice that it helps me to work with more dexterity and that way I don't hurt any bees. Um, that's all you need to know about the essential tools uh, in beekeeping. And I really recommend that you keep familiarizing yourself with these tools while you're waiting for your bees to arrive. And that way you can start the season with confidence.